what you can do, hollow a little hole out, <laughs> put something in it. This is, this is what one of the staff told me to do, but not with this, with the acting and salt fish, but this would work as well. Mm. Hello and welcome everyone, Caribbean or Jamaican food this evening. Uh, as you can see from the title, it's jerk chicken. I've never tried jerk chicken before, so this will be a first. I'll just show you what I've got in the bag. Um, I've got a drink, the Caribbean punch, and uh, this is milk and barley. Milk, super malt, contains milk, barley, Caribbean punch. Okay, don't usually drink and eat at the same time, but that looked quite nice, so I thought I'd have that. Got here some, uh, some dumplings, excuse me, they call them dumplings. Now, I believe uh, the festivals are the, the different shaped ones. These are very nice, I've had them before. Uh, I was going to get ackee and salt fish this evening, but they didn't have any. It's quite late in the evening. I believe that ackee and salt fish is a, um, a breakfast food, so they've probably run out. <clears throat> but what I have here is jerk chicken. Like I say, it said before, I haven't tried this before. Oh, with some veg in there as well. Oh, that smells really nice. Look at that. You know what, I'm just going to tip it out on the plate. Doesn't look too wet. Oh, look at that. Mmm. Oops, missed the, uh, missed the plate a bit there. <laughs> okay, so it's nearly all out. <clears throat> I, I've never made jerk chicken before. I don't know what's in it. Don't know what it tastes like even. So we'll see. So um, I'll have a bit of. No, I'll tell you what I'll do first. I'll show you the meal. That's the uh, jerk chicken with rice and peas. And unfortunately, the veg fell to the bottom. But that's like carrots and um, cabbage and onion, I think. What I'm going to do first, try this drink. So what this is like. Wow, it's very sweet. Yeah, it um, tastes like wine. Strange, isn't it? It's. I don't think it's alcoholic, but it, you'd think it was. That's very nice, I'll definitely be having that again. Caribbean punch. Okay, right, um, let's try the chicken then, jerk chicken, it's a bit pink but I, it's, you know, even though chicken's pink sometimes, it might be the, um, the sauce that's made it, discoloured it to make it pink but that doesn't mean that it's not cooked. I think that was some bones or something. That bizarre. Very nice though. Now that's a proper bit of chicken. Again, there's a bit of bone in there. It's so tender you can't actually eat the bones though. I 
could say that. Maybe there's something in here that I won't be able to. No. Mm. Yeah. How ridiculous. So tender. Just straight through the bones. It's a very nice flavour. I'm starting to feel a bit of spice now. Now I'm getting more into it. At first it wasn't. It can't be the rice, surely. Okay, let's try a bit more of the jerk chicken. It's absolutely lovely. Mmm. Bit of the veg. I want to start eating these dumplings, haven't I? Yeah, they're nice. Now, I was going to get an e um, sorry, a curry this evening. Um, <clears throat> but the um, <clears throat> the curry house that I usually use has actually closed down. Um, it was a tandoori. So there are a couple of others that I could use. In the same row, in fact, only a few doors away from it. Um, one of them I have tried, it's a ball tea, and the other one's called the Curry Lounge. I haven't tried the Curry Lounge yet, but I will do. The ball tea was good, I will use that again. But the Jamaican food. Is always really really good. I don't normally have these though. The dumplings. But I just thought that I'd show you them. I think they're deep fried. Just bread. Really. Not sure what flour they use. Well, they're extremely tasty, but probably very fattening. Okay, so my, my thoughts on the, um, the jerk chicken, it's very nice. I think I probably will have it again. What I usually have if, if um, there's no fish I asked for um, Akin saltfish, they hadn't got any. And then I asked if they've got any hake. Which if you see one of my previous videos, um, there's some hake in there. Uh, they had no fish at all. So um, I decided to 
Um, what I would normally have after that is a mutton curry, and um, but this time I, I, I had a look at the menu and you know decided to try the jerk chicken. Um, I couldn't tell you which is the best out of the mutton curry and the jerk chicken. They're both very nice. The jerk chicken is a little bit more dry. The mutton curry is very, very oily. You know, you'd struggle to put it on a plate like, like I have done with that. By buying four dumplings, maybe I thought that it was going to be oily. Mm. It's a, a nice, a nice level of spice here. It's not too spicy so that you're struggling to eat it. It's never good. That looks like a chicken wing there. We'll save that for a moment. I don't know what this bit is here. Let's try this. I think that's chicken breast. It looks like it's got stuffing on it, which is odd. Ah, <clears throat> maybe that's herbs, like sage, you know, like sage and onion you eat like normal stuffing mm. maybe they've seasoned the chicken first before cooking it it's very flavoursome mm. Yeah, I'm starting to feel the spiciness of it now. Big bit there. It's very generous with the chicken. Okay, so price wise, the meal itself, so it's a jerk chicken, a rice, sorry, jerk chicken, the rice and peas, a little bit of veg, and one of the dumplings came to £11. I bought an extra three dumplings 
excuse me, for an extra two pounds, which makes this um, two pounds for the Caribbean punch. Because in total, it came to fifteen pounds. Oh, wow! <laughs> That's quite strong. Looks like a chicken leg there. So we've got a leg and a wing, a bit of breast left. Mm -hmm. Very nice, spicy. Plenty of rice left, and a bit of veg, some dumplings. What you can do, hollow a little hole out, <laughs> put something in it. This is, this is what one of the staff told me to do, but not with this, with the acne and salt fish. But this would work as well. chunk of chicken left there, a leg and a wing, let's, tr let's try the wing, mmm, nice and crunchy, Not eating that bit. Sharp. Be careful if you're going to eat bones. Mm. Okay. Let's try this leg. Same again, I don't think I'll, tr I'll challenge the bone. Oh no. mm. I 
very tender. This is a very nice meal. Jerk chicken, rice and peas with veg. Some dumplings. Perhaps not the Caribbean punch, but I do like it. It's very nice. It's very strong though. It even smells strong. Mmm. Wow. These are brilliant. I think there's a bit of chicken thigh here. Possibly another sharp bone. I must avoid eating things like that. All that's left. I'm starting to get full now, but I think I will eat all of it.
There were some other things on the menu um, that I could have had instead of the jerk chicken. One of them was fried chicken, which I haven't tried from there yet. Obviously, I have tried types of fried chicken before, but not from there. I think there was um, a stew as well. I'm not sure what it was, oxtail stew maybe. And um, obviously the mutton curry, which uh, you would have seen in one of my previous videos. Down to the last mouthful. Mm. I did enjoy that. Very nice. All that's left is a, a few sharp bones. And a bit of um, Aunt Sally's Caribbean Punch. Now Aunt Sally's is a chain in the UK. Uh, I know there's one in Birmingham, there's one in Wolverhampton too, but I'm not sure where else they are. Um, whether it's a bit more nationwide, I don't know. Um, post in the comments if you do know, please. That's quite strong. <laughs> Okay, thank you all for watching, stay tuned for more videos, see you soon, bye.